So let's create a custom graph design. So up until this point, we've been looking at graphs with just a standard line or a standard bar. So now let's get creative. We can create a picture to replace the columns, they're the bars or the markers used in a design. So the only restriction is that this object has to be vector based. So uh, no bitmaps, that means no pictures, no raster graphics, no paintbrush tool, and no gradients. So it does make it be more of a flat, iconic type design. So here's a pe pencil, and let's use this then to eventually replace my columns, my bars in my graphs. So if I select this, I'm gonna use my selection tool, you can see how this is made up of many different shapes, many different pieces. What we need to do is define this as a new design. So in order to do that, I have to make a rectangle with no fill, no stroke, that will be um, the same exact size, at least the height of it, as this pencil. So if you want, you can you just eyeball it, zoom in, click and drag to make your rectangle. If you want to make sure and kind of restrain yourself a bit, you can use rulers and guides. So I'm going to go ahead and do a control R, control key with R will turn on my rulers. Okay, that's the quick keys for turning on the ruler. So now that I have my rulers visible on both the top and the left side, I can click in that ruler and drag down a guide. And you probably want to zoom in here to make sure that you are right at the point. What will happen is if, in a little, there's maybe a little tiny gap, not a big deal. What you don't want is a huge gap because that will misrepresent your data in your chart. So I'm going to hold down my space key right now and I'm using my mouse just to kind of drag down here to find the end of my pencil and then I'm going to click and drag the end of the pencil here. Oh, and if that's not quite where I want it to be, let's click, actually my guides are locked. Let's unlock those guides. So guides, I'm gonna unlock them. So I'm going to the view menu, unlock the guides. Now I actually can drag them around to relocate. And I'm not gonna get right there because I don't wanna chop off my eraser for this pencil icon. So this is probably close enough. Let's zoom out, zoom out. All right, so now here we see the top and the bottom guide. I'm gonna take my rectangle tool, and even though I said it cannot have a fill or a stroke, it's gonna be hard to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a white fill black stroke on it, knowing that um, I'm gonna turn that off once I'm done drawing here. Now width wise, and you can see how I snap now, my guides um, allow me to snap and that makes it easy then for me to see where I'm at. So here's my rectangle um, and it, you know the width wise not such a big deal. Now what I do have to do is go back to my selection tool. Let's do a right click and arrange send to back. That's a key important thing. You have to send that to the back. So um, now that it's in the back, I do have to make sure I take my stroke and my fill off, um, but I can just double check here. Width-wise, like I said, not a large big deal. Um, if I have some extra room there, I don't have to hold very tight, tight. What's most important is top to bottom. So now I'm gonna do a none for my fill and a none for my stroke, making sure that then I lose that fill and stroke. I'll go ahead and click out here to deselect everything. Okay, and so now that I have that rectangle sent to the back, I'm going to select both, and I'm gonna do a marquee selection because I wanna make sure I get everything. So I'm gonna click with my selection tool, drag around that pencil, and make sure I see that I have the rectangle as well. With those pieces selected, now I'm gonna navigate up to my object menu, and I'm gonna choose graph at the very bottom, and this time I'm choosing design, okay? So here is my design, we'll slide it over here so we can see it, uh, my design little options box. And so what I wanna do is choose new design. And it knows what I have selected out on my artboard and there it is. So we probably do wanna rename it. Let's just rename this pencil. Click okay. 
So there's my pencil. And now this design will be saved for me to use in my charts later in Illustrator. So let's click OK. And we are ready to move on to the next step. If you want, you can go and look through the add-ons that in Illustrator has or the whole Adobe package has um, to locate any types of icons. Um, anything that will save you time, make sure if you're going to snatch an icon that you look at the copyrights, that you are not uh, you know, infringing on those copyrights. Um, make sure that it's royalty free, copyright free, then you are able to use it. So that's how we can create some interesting designs for our graphs. And now the next step is to apply it.